Hi, I'm Eric Santana with Santana Outdoors and we specialize in premium hunting gear. Let's take a look at some products that will make your next outdoor adventure a little bit better. Hi, I'm Rev with Santana Outdoors. Today we're going to do a quick overview of the uh, Gunslinger 2. We've got two packs here. The one that you see here is in Coyote Brown. This one that you see here that's all uh, padded out. This one's in Western Slope. Just want to give you a quick view of why this is one of our number one selling packs. I'm going to start out with the harness area and the hip belt. Uh, hip belt is, is uh, padded all the way around. Uh, as you can see, uh, it's got padding on both sides and then it's got a lot of padding here in the back to help fill the, the small of your back. Uh, this whole hip belt attaches by Velcro so it's, it's easily removable and uh, uh, you can uh, adjust it uh, many different ways. On both sides of the hip belt you, you've got molly webbing where you can attach accessory pouches, uh, either large or small, or uh, other, other everyday stock accessories as well. You and uh, <clears throat> this chest clip is, is adjustable up and down. So depending on your torso size or depending on how, how wide you are, this thing can move up and down to, to help accommodate you and, and keep it a lot steadier for you. Here we have the, um, the keeper of the, of the shoulder straps, keeps this harness. Uh, it's also Velcro. But uh, one reason this is real important, I want to touch on it real fast, is is this is where you can adjust these straps up and down. Again, if, if you're somebody that has a real longer torso or somebody has a real short torso, uh, this is going to be a real good friend for you. It just, you undo the Velcro, and once you undo it, you can see that there's, there's straps behind here. And these, these straps allow you to move it up and down, kind of like a ladder system, and then you just secure it back in. Uh, weave it back through and then just put your velcro back on and you're good to go. Straps do have some padding on them. Not a whole lot, not real bulky, but uh, just enough to give you enough for comfort and uh, uh, not enough to where it's going to throw you off if, if you do have to shoot wearing your pack. It does have handles attached to it. This is a great grab and go pack. Uh, that's what it was built for and designed for. Uh, it's got handles on the sides as well and uh, again just just awesome deal just to carry like a piece of luggage if you have to grab this thing and run real quick uh, it's very handy for that now that we've gone over the harness and the hip belt we're going to go over the main compartment real quick now the main compartment by itself without the rifle scabbard is 2500 cubic inches with the rifle scabbard attached it goes up to 3150 we're going to touch on that rifle scabbard here in just a moment but uh, uh, what we're going to do now is talk about the main compartment as you can see it does have molly webbing uh, all the way across the front, um, top and bottom. Uh, great for, for uh, strapping things to, lashing things to, sleeping bags, uh, any kind of accessories you can think of. Uh, it's, that's what it was designed for. That's why it has so much molly webbing all the way around it is, is uh, to attach items that you would need. Okay, as you can see right here, we got the two compression straps. These do expand out quite a bit, as you can see with this pack here. Uh, we do have its stuff full, and uh, uh, they do expand quite a bit. This pack is also a uh, it's a front loader, or I'm sorry, a front loader and a top loader. And what that means is is you have the traditional style of loading this pack. Through the top of the hatch. And you can also, after it's loaded, you can also unzip the face of this and access your components as well. Now, inside this pack, again, you'll see there's a lot of molly webbing on the inside of this, uh, which, which gives you a, a great opportunity to, to lash things onto this, uh, keep them tied to this. So if you do have to open this pack real fast and you're looking for a specific item, but when we flop this down, you know it's going to be here. You can secure it to this location. On the inside, you can see as well, there is more molly webbing uh, on both sides. And then uh, there is two very large pockets here. Now, these large pockets would be great depending on what you're doing. If you want to carry uh, dual hydration, you certainly can. These are also great for large military radios, batteries. Um, and, and if you're not going to be using it in that sense, then, then they do make a great storage place for for food and, and uh, other small trinkets you can think of. Do you have some smaller pockets on the bottom, on both sides? 
and then also on the side panels as well. Kind of uh, uh, gives you more storage area. And then once you put in your hydration system, uh, you can pop it out the top and uh, run your hoses down your shoulder straps. Again, this main compartment here, you're looking at about 2,500 cubic inches. On the top hatch or the lid, it does have a pocket. This is a, a, a waterproof zipper. It does have a little pocket here. Um, just if you want to store something real small in here, maybe a snack or something like that, or uh, perhaps a knife or something you want to get quick access to, uh, it is a great pocket for that. Now, on the other side, again, zippered, very large pocket inside here, and uh, I'll try to maneuver this around so you can see it a little bit better. But uh, inside, it does have very small pockets in here, several of them, great for uh, organizers. You know, if you've got really small items, medications, whatever the case may be, paperwork that you need to divide and separate, uh, this is excellent for that. Uh, it does have another zipper pocket uh, in here as well. Um, probably probably about a half liter or so, maybe a liter size pocket. And uh, uh, just great for storing small items and keeping things separated. Now on each side of the pack, you will notice, again, molly webbing all over the place. This stuff is awesome. There's, there's a lot of different things you can do with this. And uh, it was built, like I said, for, for attaching a lot of assortments and accessories to this. And then on each side, you also have another small uh, pocket. Per side, with all the additional molly webbing. Now, let's get down to the meat and potatoes, why they call this thing a gunslinger. Keep in mind, this is the gunslinger 2. There is an original gunslinger. Uh, the Gunslinger, compared to the Gunslinger 2, very similar packs, uh, however the Gunslinger 1 has, has a slightly smaller scabbard. But with the Gunslinger 2, um, we're going to show you how to access that rifle scabbard. Basically you just have a clip here on the bottom, undo this clip. Out comes the bottom portion of your rifle scabbard. Okay, now this scabbard, it will fit a rifle, a rifle up to 60 inches uh, in length. It is pretty wide as well, so it will accommodate rifles uh, with bipods on them and also with really large scopes. That's what it was designed for, so, so great purpose for hunters and also tactical use. Now, the neat thing about this rifle scabbard is, is it does have uh, access on the back here. You can undo this zipper reach inside because chances are you're going to be getting a lot of sticks and leaves in there so it does give you a way to clean out this rifle scabbard. Also on this rifle scabbard on the bottom it does have holes for draining in case you get any water in there um, uh, or anything that you want to drain out you know if you if you rinse it or something like that uh, it is it is drain capable. Like I said this will accommodate uh, the very bigger rifles but uh, it wasn't just meant for that. Um, Smaller rifles, no problem getting them inside there. As you can see, this is just a little AK-47. And that's all you see remaining hanging out the top. So, very concealed. To accommodate the longer rifles, it does have the GSTC butt cover. So when you stick your rifle inside the, the rifle scabbard and you do have the butt of the rifle or the muzzle sticking out on this end, uh, which brings up a great point, you can load this, this gun scabbard either butt down or butt up, muzzle down, muzzle up, doesn't matter. It will accommodate both. It has the width to do that. But once you get the longer rifles in here and uh, you do have the excess hanging out, if you want to keep them protected from the elements. It does come with this GSTC butt cover. So basically it just clips on, there's four clips, stick this thing on and it will extend out as well. Now you have extra cover and uh, uh, protection for your weapon. Gunslinger 2 is a very versatile pack. Everybody stock built this pack with uh, 
probably two different people in mind. One the tactical person, the other one the hunter. We do get a lot of calls for this pack. We do have a lot of orders for it. We do have a lot of military folks that use this pack, also tactical folks as well. Here at Santana Outdoors, we have used this pack ourselves. Uh, we have taken it rifle hunting on a couple different occasions. Uh, it has worked excellent for us. Uh, we have hauled out uh, some smaller deer with it. Had no problems packing everything on here, and uh, this pack performed excellent with the weight and uh, uh, was really, really comfortable to use, and, and we highly recommend it. Just want to thank you for stopping by and doing this review with Santana Outdoors. We really appreciate it. We really appreciate all your business and appreciate you as a customer. Just want to let you know that we highly encourage each and every one of you to drop by, give us a line, email us, call us, whatever you want to do to let us know how we're doing on, the re on these reviews and let us know, please, uh, what more we can do uh, to make these better for you. Again, thanks again. We really appreciate it. Have a good day.